Today we will begin our value ice cream cone. Value is the range from light to dark. Adding value to forms make them look more 3D and realistic, showing where the light source is coming from and where the shadows are. When shading with a pencil, hatching, cross-hatching, blending, and stippling are just some of the ways to add value. When using paint, value must be made by color mixing. Hue is the pure color. Hue plus white makes a tint. Hue plus black makes a shade. And hue plus black and white, or gray, makes a tone. Now let's get started. Write your name in class code in the white space on the front. Now flip it like a pancake. On the back, you will see four sections. Find the one that has the triangle on the other side. This will be the cone for our ice cream. Using the brown paint, paint only that section. Outline the edges so you don't paint past the lines and make sure to paint all the way out to the edge of the paper. Clean your brush in between colors and don't forget to dry it. The other three sections are your scoops of ice cream. One will be painted with the hue or the pure color. One will be the tint, your hue mixed with white. And one will be the shade, your hue mixed with black. When you are done painting your hue or the pure color, it is time to mix the hue with the white to make the tint. Take a scoop of the red and mix it with your white. This will make a lighter version of your hue. This is what you will paint the next section with. And now for the shade, your hue mixed with black. Get just a touch of black on the tip of your paintbrush and mix it with your hue or your pure color. This will make a darker version of your hue. This is what we will paint the last section with. Be sure to wash your brush before putting it in the water jar. Today we have painted our ice cream cone, our hue, our tint, and our shade. Welcome to day two of our value ice cream cone. Construction day. Let's begin by cutting out those four different colors. On the back of the four pieces, you will see the shapes of your cone and your ice cream scoops. Very carefully cut each one out. Make sure to turn the paper at the same time as you're cutting so your scissors stay on that curvy line. Keep those scraps of paper, you might want them later. Arrange your scoops of ice cream in the order that you think looks best. Let's start with the cone. Add a few small dots of glue to the top. Now bring that bottom ice cream scoop, place it on the glue, and hold it with flat hands for a few seconds. Do the same thing all the way up to the top. Small dot of glue, bring it down, and hold it for a few seconds. Now you can pick the background color that you want and write your name and class code. Flip it like a pancake. 
figure out how you want your ice cream to be glued onto your background page. Flip the ice cream over and add small dots of glue all the way around the outside edges. Very carefully flip over your ice cream, lay it where you want it to go, and hold it with flat hands. And now for the decorations. Use markers to add lots of decorations to the background. Use different colors, lines, shapes, and designs. Using a brown marker, you can add diagonal lines to add details and textures to your cone. You can add any other details you wish. You can add chocolate chips, sprinkles, a cherry on top, or maybe even chocolate sauce. Make it yours and make it delicious.